it's me, Pam Minnie. Now I have a fun crafty haul uh, that I got um, at the craft outlet here. And um, I went, met my friend Darla, and we had a great day shopping for craft supplies. And then we had a wonderful lunch, chatted at Olive Garden. So that was Wednesday, and that was a great day. So I thought I'd show you what I got. I got these um, farmhouse kitchen from Echo Park Paper. Look at the adorable roosters. It's called Roaming Roosters by Echo Park. So cute. And then I just got one of these because I have... Um, more of these i believe that i thought would be really pretty in a spring journal it this is the month of march um this is bow bunny time and place so i don't know if i have this one so eventually when i do like a you know a monthly journal or something i think that would be pretty um i do have some of this farmhouse market by cardabella i have um you know, some of the regular paper. It's pretty. A little pink print. But um, here's cutter parts. I could have got more. But I just got the one. I, I've had this before. Um, I may have used it. Um, it's called Everyday Musings Beautiful by Pink Fresh. And if I do a like a folk art journal, I thought this would be really pretty. It's really nice, thick paper quality. Very pretty. This, um, I have a circus journal in mind whenever I have time for that. This is Pebbles Big Top Dreams. It's kind of hard for me to have a hard time with my eyes today. Um, but I thought that would be great. Look how cute that is. No, why it looks orange, but it's a it's a red. And then this one, I may have one more of these, but big top dreams. This is clowns. You know how pretty that is. And then for a retro journal, we have this Bow Bunny souvenir. Uh, I liked the look of that. Very cool. Polka dots in the back. Oh, bunny. Souvenir. So cute. Oh, here's another one. Okay, so I got two of those. I don't know if I knew that. Um, okay, then uh, they have these packs of 25 papers. And um, this is called Around the Table. And I can't even see what that is. Maybe you can. Made in Poland. P13. Around the table. Let's see here. But um, <clears throat> they'll be awesome. And they're plain on the back. to cut out and I want to make an apron journal too sometimes so there's cute aprons on here you got the mixers different colors you got a pink one silver one chef's hat you know, pies and isn't that cute I thought that's perfect for farmhouse journals I have so many to make right now I'm working on that um, one I showed you with the cereal boxes. Okay, here's another one from that same line. They're on the table four, so they must be numbered. And uh, look how cute. They're like watercolors. Kiss the cook. So pretty. The back is like a little plaid, so this is number four. This one says seven. Farm, sweet farm. With the look at all the 
Something she could cut out. The bar and the boots. You got flowers, tractor, little garden shed. Look at that lamb. Pig. <laughs> so lots of things. I mean, it's a lot of fussy cutting, but. So we have that. And then there's one other that I got from this line. You just kind of get what they have, you know. And it does change up. So I got a couple of these. A beautiful floral at the top. And then you have a tractor. This is farm, sweet farm two. And a little cute garden shed. On the side you have a little yellow plaid. And for a bee or daisy type journal, I don't have many papers for that so I got this Echo Park New Day and there's little buzzing bees and little yellow polka dot it's called Bee Buddies New Day um the I love birds so I got some bird cardstock paper can company antique garden look at these birds so beautiful bird type journal just gorgeous antique garden so pretty that's some of my favorite paper and then I think I may have more of this but I got it again because I really liked it and it's a peachy keen Blue background with birds. High flying. So pretty. All over bird pattern. And then you have a cute white with blue polka dot. This one I thought it would be pretty for a sewing type journal. Reminisce blue quilt. So it's got little quilt designs. Got one of those. And it has a zigzag on the back. And then for the uh, ocean type sea journals um i don't find a lot of paper so i did have this one with the water so this is boarding but i would not probably use that but so i have that <clears throat> and this one's kind of like beachy and it's a 49 in market very thick paper vintage artistry beached uncharted and I have some of these papers that, you know, look like they've been, you know, kind of distressed or a little ship there. <clears throat> and then if I find Graphic 45, I usually buy it. Um, ephemera Queen Collection of the Ephemera, the cards. And that's something else I need to do. I need to make some Graphic 45 journals. Look how beautiful. It's my favorite paper line. Birds, I know I have more of this, but these are perfect for a bird journal or botanical. It's called Bird Watcher Collection by Graphic 45. Robins appear when loved ones are near, a little bird told me. Fabulous paper here. And on the back are some really pretty little flowers. Here's one, because I don't know, you know, if I have part of this collection. So, like I said, if I see it, I'll, I'll get it. And these are gorgeous digital cards. And I didn't realize how pretty I would have got more. Fashion Forward Collection, Graphic 45. First I thought, oh, I don't know about these colors. But now that I see them, I like them. So that's the month of November for look at that Fashion Forward. The back is just as gorgeous. Fashion Forward Collection. This is November. This is June. Always on my mind. Look at the beautiful colors. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
Very pretty. This I got because I thought, you know, maybe I could use this in a dollhouse for flooring. One of my dollhouses. It's so Spice Market, Portugal, Ella, and something. Like I said, my eyes are bad there. Ella and Viv. So, yeah, they look like tiles. They'd be, you know, pretty on a dollhouse floor. <clears throat> okay, so then next, let me just put these away here. I've got a few other items. Um, I think some are, um, this is a craft outlet, and um, I think some are probably returns, but whatever, I don't mind that the packaging is off. And blues, these will be pretty... Uh, they're the teardrop shapes for, you know, ocean-type journals. And Studio Light. <clears throat> so I have lots of shades. <clears throat> I got this beautiful Penny Black um, pick, of the, pick of the pack. And they're pumpkins so those will be cute for fall oh I got these cute little peach charms <clears throat> by Prima peach charm I love my charms Look how cute. I thought for dollhouse, but these peaches are too big. So I just want to see. Oops. Did I do break that one off? Yeah, I did. I took, took the little... Did I take the little thing off? I mean, how are you going to hang that? I don't know. Did I take the... They're fuzzy. They're cute. For a farmhouse journal, I thought. Was there a little attachment? Yeah, there was. So this little piece, I'm going to have to hot glue it. You see the little... I'll have hot glue that, but that's fuzzy. Peach charm, how adorable. Okay, so I got a couple of these, and these are Prima Vintage Trinkets. What's that say? Lyric. And look how pretty. Love, they're like a metal charm. That would be great for vintage. I think that's a black velvet ribbon, and that has a little bee in the center, and that little butterfly. Lyric Vintage Trinkets by Prima. Beautiful charms. Love charms. More peaches. Well, these are K and Co. Susan Winget die cut. Fifty-eight pieces. K and Co. And here is what you get in there. So I thought those would be beautiful. I think they only had one of these. I don't go that often. Maybe I should, but I don't know. Fine line resist pen, fine tip. And this is nice and it comes with a you know little thin needle applicator. So that's a really good deal. I don't know what they mean by resist pen. Pen. Right. Then I got um, some Bow Bunny flutter stamps. Could try those out. But they I like them because they have the layered. Wait. Right? Yeah, that's layered. So that would go over this. I know that would. So I thought those would be pretty in there by Bow Bunny flutter stamps. I have a lot of butterfly stamps, but 
that's layered. I don't know if I have anything like that. These were layered shells and sentiments I crafted. Linda Kamask. And um, I thought they'd be pretty for my Sea Ocean journals because, once again, they have the layering, which I think would be pretty. Oh, look at this cute little chick, baby chicken, deep red stamp. Cute for a farmhouse journal. Speaking of farmhouse journal, here is Back to Nature Studio Light Chicken Wire. That would be great. So that was fun. Go in there. Here is a little Suprema little wood bird. Very beautiful to put on a... Uh, you know, journal cover, a bird book. These are so beautiful. Look at these stickers. They're Antique Hay and Company. Antique Gardens. They must go with whatever else I had that said Antique Garden. Now I don't remember, but I think I had some paper maybe. But look at if I use these, they're a dimensional sticker. But if I use these on the wall, like picture frames in my dollhouse, farmhouse, dollhouse, wouldn't that be the most beautiful um, you know, wall hangings? UK success, antique garden, gallery frame embellishments. I'm so excited about these. Beautiful. Okay, I think, yeah, this matches my, uh, the other paper I got, and these are chipboard uh, stickers. Uh, graphic 45, what does that say? Ephemera Queen chipboard queen. Ephemera Queen. So little by little, I get more of the collection. The graphic 45. I've been looking at this for a while, and I just broke down and got it. It's the it's a fairy stencil. Stampers Mixed Media Art Stamperia.com. So, yeah, for a fairy journal, that will be pretty. Mixed media stencil. A couple more things. Well, I've gotten these before at um, Hobby Lobby, the uh, Fimo Clay. And um, well, this is just a really good price, so if I want to, it's a Sculpey. Uh, if I want to make little cookies or something for the dollhouse, I'm all set. And then I think you can dye the, so I got the neutral. And have a couple of those. Um, I do have one of these. Let me see if it's the same size. Yeah, it is. But it's nice to have more than one. And then it's nice with the grippy edges. And then I have, um, I have a collection of these that I thought I needed of a lot of colors, but I don't think I have this color. And, um, it's the Nouveau Drops, and I need to use them more. And, um, I think they make a, uh, kind of a raised dirty bronze. Yeah, I don't think I have that color. Um, they make like a raised like enamel dot. So that'll be fun. 
just a couple more things. Sorry for the crinkling. Okay, then I got a Hero Tools compact cutting pad, and I don't have, think I have any narrow ones like this. So I got those cutting pads. Hero Arts. And then I got this, a little lemon, because I want to make a lemon, lemonade summertime journal. Don't have a lot of lemon stamps. So that's cute. I've got some adorable little chickies. Look how cute they're fuzzy from Jolie's Boutique. And that little egg, aren't they the cutest thing for a farmhouse journal? Okay, then I have another one of these. I think I showed it before, but it's Creative Expressions Craft Dies by Paper Panda. Two dies, I think. Oh, yeah, you get the, like the circular, circular one. And then um, these are, I wish I could see. Okay, these. They look like, are they hedgehogs? Look how cute they are. I think they're adorable. Let me show you the other one I have. Okay, good. So it's just a little bit different. It has the squirrels. So cute. So I'm glad I got that because I was thinking it was basically the same, but there were squirrels. But no, that's quite a bit different. So I love these. They cut out really well. Creative Expressions Craft Dice by Paper Panda. So I'm glad to add that to my collection. Then I just got a couple of these little elephant stickers for boho journals, the elephants. And is this the last thing? I think it is. I um, got this stencil art, siobellapaper.com. And I love birds, and for a bird journal, I thought this would be really pretty. A large stamp, and then I got a um, just one of these graphic 45 chipboard sketch of the day collection. Seize the day. I'll be using this on the C type journal. So perfect. So that was a wonderful day, really fun, and I hope you enjoyed this little haul. And um, we will see you next time. Bye bye.